Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here and welcome to another Adobe Fireworks tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and image map an image inside of Adobe Fireworks version CS4. Now by image mapping what I mean is basically adding links to a picture. So when you go ahead and upload that picture to the internet, when you go ahead and click on something it'll automatically take you to another website. So it's basically adding hyperlinks to an image. So anyway in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can image map inside of Adobe Fireworks version CS4. This is incredibly easy to do. It's actually way easier than doing it inside of Photoshop, but after this I'm going to show you guys how you can image map in Adobe Photoshop as well. This will work in any version of Adobe Fireworks that I'm aware of, but for this video I'm going to be using Adobe Fireworks version CS4. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is have our banner. So here's the banner that I made in my last tutorial, which was how to create a banner inside of Adobe Fireworks, which you can go ahead and click on by looking through my last videos. And um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. But before, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add links to these things. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get started, my little Facebook thingy just popped up. So yeah, so hey. And yeah, so let's go ahead and, and uh, get started. But first I should say, uh, never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Adobe Fireworks version CS4 in my case. And we're going to go ahead and open up our banner. And so here's my banner right here. So let's say we want to go ahead and add some links. So I want to add a link to my home page, my YouTube page, and my Twitter page. So to go ahead and do that, we have to go over here and scroll over to the little web box over here and grab this tool right here, which is the uh, mobile hotspots tool. I think. Then you go ahead and just click and drag a rectangle over each and everything that you want to put a link on. So I'm going to drag a rectangle over each and every one of these buttons right here. So that's good. And so now as you notice we have these three little blue rectangles right here. And so to go ahead and add the links to them what you have to do is go over here and select your arrow tool. Then click on that and then go down here to where it says link and then type in the link. So my home page is That's my home page right there. I just click out of it. Then I'm going to click on the YouTube page. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add my YouTube link. And finally, we'll add my Twitter link in with this Twitter one. So let's just add the Twitter link here. Oh, I forgot to add the HTTP. So HTTP. Good. And then once we're done, we've basically added the links to our image. So the only thing we have left to do is go up here to File and then go to Export. Don't save as. Go to Export. Then make sure it's exported to HTML and Images. Make sure the HTML is Export HTML file. And then go ahead and name it and save it to your desktop or wherever you're saving it. Then we can go ahead and close out of that. And then let me just minimize this. Then as you notice over here we have a GIF image and a banner image. So if we go ahead and click on the, oh wait, not a banner image, we have a GIF image and an HTML file. If we go ahead and click on the HTML file, as you notice we have this right here. And you can go ahead and click on home, we go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you to my website. We click on YouTube and it'll bring you to my YouTube page. We click on Twitter and it'll bring you to my Twitter page. And basically that's it. As you see, we've added links to this. And so now I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and take that and import it into your website. But first I'm going to answer my Facebook message. So, um, oh sorry, BRB. Okay, making a video now. All right. And so, yeah, so anyway, here's our image. And so now I'm going to show you guys how you can take that and insert it into your website. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take that HTML file and you want to go ahead and import it with your uh, HTML editor of choice. So I'm going to right click it and open with. And uh, you can open it with Dreamweaver if you want to because uh, I like that. But uh, I'm not going to use Dreamweaver. I'm going to use TextMate just because it's more simple. And then here's the HTML code of the page right here. So to go ahead and insert it into your website, what you want to do is you want to go here where it says IMG, the image tag, and you want to select that all the way down to the map tag. So all of these tags right in here. Once you've gone ahead and have that, you just select that, and then you copy that, and then you paste that in as the header page of your website, and then that's basically it. And so once you paste that in as the header page of your website, then it should appear with the image as the header of your website, and then you should be able to click on those links.
Now the only downside is you'll have to upload that HTML file and you'll have to upload the banner.gif image in order to go ahead and get this to work. So be sure you put those in your images folder as well. And so that's pretty much it. You've gone ahead and you've added a link to your images and you put that on your website. So that's pretty much it really. That's how to go ahead and add images to your how to add links to your images or how to image map inside of Adobe Fireworks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Leave more suggestions in the comments below for videos I should do in the future and also leave a comment if you want me to show you how to do this inside of Photoshop as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.